Before I do jump into this video, I just want to say one thing. I just want to throw it out there. If you are watching this on the day that it uploaded, October 25th, it's my birthday. Today is my 30th birthday. Now, obviously, I'm not filming on the 25th, so it like feels awkward to say that right now. But if you watch this on the day that it uploads, I'm going to post it on October 25th. It's my 30th birthday. I'm leaving my 20s behind and I'm moving into a new decade. So I would love if you would leave some birthday cake emojis down in the comments because I'm definitely going to be eating some cake today. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is K Bella Beauty. And today we are going to be unboxing and trying out the products that I got in my October Play by Sephora box. So if you're interested in seeing what was in this month's box, go ahead and keep on watching. Well, you guys are in for quite the treat in the month of October. You have had a lot of bare-faced videos. First, because I was filming some for skincare, I had a weird eye infection. I'm still like healing and my eye infection's gone now, but like I'm in that weird phase where it's like I don't wanna quite wear makeup yet because I don't wanna contaminate my makeup. Wanna make sure it's gone. But I did get this month's Play by Sephora box and I did kind of peek inside and see what was in there as I normally do. I kind of go on a month to month basis and decide if I wanna film a video on the products. And when I saw that this month they were focusing on complexion, I decided that's perfect. I can still leave my eyes alone, but I can film a demo using this month's products. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through each of the products, and if you're new to Play by Sephora, they do provide you with a little pamphlet kind of explaining the products and how to use them. So I'm going to dig in. We're going to use the products. I'm going to apply them to my face in real time so you can kind of see how each product works. And then I'll let you know my thoughts or my first impressions or some of these products I have tried. So it might even be a review. Now, if you're new to Play by Sephora, it is a monthly subscription box, just like Ipsy and Birchbox. It's $10 a month plus tax. My credit card is charged on the first of the month, and then I get my box in the middle of the month. And I think that it's really cute how each month there's a different bag. They did start with like just boxes when Play by Sephora first launched. It was the same box each time, but I like that they moved to bags because you can travel with these, you can gift them, they're different each time, and it just holds the products inside. You also do get a little card on each pamphlet and you can get 50 extra bonus points when you bring this into Sephora and shop in store. So the first product that I have to show you is by Makeup Forever and it is their Ultra HD Skin Booster. I have not tried this out. It is a skin perfecting serum that plumps, smooths, and hydrates your skin for flawless makeup application. So it says that it's a skin elixir. It has hyaluronic acid for instant moisture, argan oil to nourish, illuminate, and improve the look of fine lines. Your skin will look well rested even if you're not. So you're just supposed to apply a thin layer of this serum all over your skin before your makeup application. It also says that you can add a few drops to your primer or your foundation. I have really dry skin, so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'll just put a little bit of this on my face. I have already washed my face and moisturized and everything, but I'm all about a face oil or a face serum since I have dry skin. I guess what I'm gonna do, just put a little bit right here, right here, here, I got a nice little breakout kick in there. And then I'm just going to pat it in. Oh wow, like a little bit goes a long way. I did not put like huge drops on my face, but I'm finding that I could have used even less product. So a little bit goes a long way, that's nice. It's going to last you a while. That little sample size will definitely last me. I'm just gonna rub it in and then before I apply, 
any makeup. I'm going to let it kind of just soak into the skin. And I like to kind of bring it down onto my neck because your neck is going to age as well. So you want to make sure that you're moisturizing it and keeping it nice and hydrated. This little sample size is 0.15 fluid ounces. So it's definitely going to last me a while. The next product is a primer. It is by Becca Cosmetics, and it is the First Light Filter Face Primer. So this is the one with the purple tint, and it says that this lightweight formula keeps you glowing all day long with a natural prismatic effect that leaves your skin looking as luminous as the pearlescent packaging in any lighting. So you're just supposed to massage a little bit into your skin before foundation for a long-lasting natural gleam, or apply after as a highlighter to your cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, and cheekbones. There's also a little bonus that says if you add a few pumps to your body lotion, you can get a glow from head to toe. I've kind of heard mixed reviews on this. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm all about illumination. I have dry skin, like I've mentioned 27,000 times, so I'm always looking for a primer that's gonna like illuminate the skin. I think it's interesting that it's purple. It always takes me forever to get these little things off. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my fan in the background. I just turned it on because I am really hot in here. So this is what the primer looks like when it comes out. It feels really liquidy. So I'm just going to dot it onto my face and rub it in. I do have... What's their, ooh, guys, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops. Whoa, that's so weird. It smells like Fruit Loops. It smells really good, but I didn't expect that. I do have the other um, Becca primer, what's it called? Okay, so I do have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and I really like that. It kind of gives you just that illumination and that glow from within, but you can definitely see, I don't wanna say like chunks of glitter, but like there's definitely glitter reflex. Like if you put the backlight priming filter on and then you go out in the sun, you're gonna be able to tell that you have something on your face. It's not gonna just look like your skin's naturally dewy or luminous or whatever. So let me see here. Okay, so this first light priming filter, it doesn't have like almost like the specks of glitter or the shimmer. It just kind of makes your skin look dewy and radiant without any kind of shimmer in it. Like it just looks like my skin is naturally glowing. So I think I might like this primer. This month they included a foundation and I really like when they include foundations in the Play by Sephora. I got to try the Hourglass foundation, the Vanish Stick one, and now I'm going to get to try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is in the shade R230. Now I don't know that this is going to match me exactly because I'm pretty sure R stands for like red undertones and I have very yellow undertones but it does say that they used my play by Sephora profile to try and give me the best shade but when I'm thinking about my profile I think all that I said is that like I have light skin so it doesn't really talk about my undertones but we're gonna try it out we're gonna see if it's not the perfect shade match that's okay but this is definitely one of their popular foundations it is a lightweight texture. It's ideal for every skin type and they have 40 shades. So they tell you after priming the skin to apply two pumps to a foundation brush or a beauty blender. Start near your nose and work your way out. I'm going to actually use a foundation brush for this. I typically use a beauty blender, but since I had all of those eye issues going on, I threw away my old beauty blender and I just wanna make sure like my eyes are good before I start using my new beauty blender. So I'm just going to take, I don't wanna put it right on the brush. I actually, I'm gonna put it on my finger. So this is like a pump and a half and I just actually want to dot it on my face. This is gonna be like a thin layer and then I can just add more if necessary. When I use a foundation brush, which is not often, 
I like to kind of press it into the skin first before any like swirling motions but a brush is not my favorite because I feel like I can always see the brush strokes but that could just be like user error you know like I could just be like not using the brush correctly so right off the bat I can tell that this is not going to be my shade this is definitely too pink I need something with a warm undertone but for the sake of the video we're gonna try it out So my husband is out of town right now and literally whenever he goes out of town which is not very often but when he does go out of town all Bentley does is cry all he does my dog is literally walking around the house crying he doesn't sleep in bed he waits in the living room for my husband to get home and he just walks around the house crying okay so this is one layer of foundation now I wanna look up close. It's definitely not the right shade for me. It has a very pink undertone and one layer definitely gives me like a light coverage. You can see the blemish on my chin, I can see my pores, and I can see the primer coming through. So if you like full coverage, this probably won't be the foundation for you. I typically don't go for full coverage. I go for more of a light coverage anyway, but I'm just gonna take another like half of a pump and just kind of see how much we can build it up here. I know my friend Smags, this like used to be like a holy grail foundation for her. She really liked it. I do have the Ultra HD stick foundation and I like it, but um, I feel like it kind of emphasizes my pores a little bit. So it's not like a go-to foundation for me, but I do enjoy it. So when I added another layer, it definitely kind of amped up the coverage a little bit, but I can still see my freckles underneath. I can still see my blemish. That's what I go for in a foundation. Other than the shade not being correct, this is typically what I would look for in a foundation for it to just be lightweight. I don't like feeling like I have heavy foundation on my face and my skin is very dewy right now. I don't know if it's picking up on my phone, but my skin's super dewy. So if you are oily or if you don't like the luminous look, these products might not be for you because I can definitely see some glow on my face, but again, that's what I go for, so I'm not mad at it. Now this next product, I'm a little bit confused about how to use. I've never tried it before. It is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. They do have six shades that are available. And it says that you can kind of customize your moisturizers, serums, oils, primers, foundations, and tinted moisturizers by adding radiance or a bronzed tint just place your usual product in the palm of your hand, drop in a custom enhancer drops, mix it with your fingertips and transform into the perfect customized finish. So I think this is a product that you're supposed to mix in. My pamphlet tells me that these are highlighting drops and the directions are to mix a drop in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation, apply along the brow bones, Cupid's bow, and the bridge and tip of your nose for a natural strobe. So, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll mix a little bit in with the foundation and just kind of put it at the high points of my face. I mean, you're totally, like I'm never gonna go through this. You're totally gonna get your use out of this little sample size. I don't know how much it comes with. Oh, and it says shake well before use. Okay. So this is 0 0.095 fluid ounces. My dog is like licking this hair product that's on the floor. Um, so you do get 0 0.095 fluid ounces and I feel like that that's going to be plenty for me, honestly. Okay, so 
Oh, there's like a lot in there. I'm gonna take just a touch of the foundation and whoo, boy, there's like a lot here. And then a dab of Moonlight and I'm gonna mix them together. And then I'm gonna use it like I would use the liquid highlighter. Now I would typically take my beauty blender to also kind of like mas massage it into the skin. But like I said, since I have a new beauty blender and I haven't used it yet, I'm just gonna use my finger. My finger will be fine. Okay. Do you guys have any of these custom enhancer drops? Like, do you mix it with your foundation every time you wanna put it on your face? Or is it something where you could use it like a liquid highlighter and just kind of, like could I put the moonlight directly on my face? Or should I be mixing it in with something else? Like I don't know how to use this. I'm kind of confused. It definitely gives me a glow, that's for sure. Even mixed in with the foundation, I definitely have a glow where I placed it. But it definitely looks like a very natural glow. Like if you want a BAM in your face glow, you could totally add some more highlighter on top of it. But this would actually be really good. I think these custom enhancer drops would be perfect for like a no makeup makeup look or like if you're just doing like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, you could mix that in with your foundation. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see the glow. And the last product that they included as part of their complexion play by Sephora box was by Laura Mercier, and it is the translucent powder, which is a fan favorite. I do have the translucent powder. This is like the perfect travel size though, so I'm totally gonna use this when I travel. This is a silky sheer setting powder. It creates a soft focus finish and can be used over makeup to help your look last all day long. So this is the final step in your makeup routine. So if I had concealer on, I would typically take my beauty blender, dip it into the product, and put this powder underneath my eyes. I do not set my whole skin. I, I only set the concealer underneath my eyes. It says you could use a powder brush and lightly dust it all over your entire face, but if you have dry skin, you might just wanna focus it underneath the eyes. I'm not going to use this product since I have used it like in tutorials and videos before. It's just a powder. We all kind of know like how to use powders, but I really like this one if you have dry skin. It doesn't create like a white cast on my face. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry and cakey, so I really do like this powder. Bentley, stop messing with my stuff. But I really like how this kind of makes my under eyes look. Stop. Last but not least, they always include a fragrance, which I really like. This is the gift of Gabrielle Chanel. It is an irresistible new blend that calls on exotic jasmine, sparkling orange blossom, vibrant lang lang, and sweet and creamy grass tuberose for a luminous floral scent. So let's try it out. I really like when they have the actual pump. It actually smells really good. It's kind of like, oh wait, hold on, hold please. So I was gonna say that I really liked it because it was kind of sweet with a hint of floral, but now that I've like sprayed it and I'm smelling it more, it is like super floral, I would say, like super, super floral. So I don't think this is the scent for me. I like more kind of sweet and romantic scents. I don't mind a hint of floral, but this is a heavy, heavy floral scent. So if you are into that, you might really love this perfume, but I'm gonna pass on this one. 
And that is going to do it for this month's Play by Sephora box. It was focused on complexion. I really, really like the products that they put in here. I'm really excited to try them out. I would be interested in trying out the foundation in my correct shade because this is the amount of coverage that I typically look for in a foundation. I need to get the hang of the cover FX drops. I'm not like totally sure how to use them yet, but I am also really excited about the Makeup Forever Skin Booster. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me some birthday cake emojis down in the comments down below. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button before you go. I upload on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. CST and again Saturdays at 11 a.m. CST. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!